Guys, uh, first, congratulations. Incredibly entertaining and a lot of fun. Uh, among many of the moments last night at the premiere that got great reaction was that the 360 shot when they're all assembled on the street. I, I guess I'm just kind of curious, was it as simple shooting it as it looks like it may have been? What, what was really the, you know, the, the composition and, and getting it right and the excitement that must have been there for you guys finally coming together like that? I remember thinking on that, on that day that that was, yeah, this is the trailer shot or this is the big moment. Because we'd been on the bridge, you know, in the, in the first scene you see we're all together, but we weren't getting along at that point, you know. Whereas, and that moment was we finally were assembled and there and same team and big 360 wide shot and, you know, all the chaos around us and that. I certainly remember thinking, yeah, this is, this is the moment. Well, we they felt nothing. Sorry. <laughs> sure. uh, guys, this is this is for a site for t uh, for kids. I was wondering if each, each of you could tell me uh, what you like best about your character. What makes your guy special to you? Come on, guys. <laughs> you like him for some reason. Yeah. Um, I I uh, it, I, I like th this. You know, we're, we're all so. We're all told to be so well behaved, and uh, and I think we all sometimes are bursting at the seams to to let it rip. And uh, you know, Bruce Banner gets to gets that moment, <laughs> and I think part of the joy for people is is to actually see that happen uh, is is exciting for us. It's a nice way for us to uh, to blow off steam in in watching movies, and yes, especially me. Uh, I'll say his, uh, his, his, his heart, you know, his selflessness. He, he, he wasn't, um, wasn't born a superhero. This didn't happen to him by accident. He was chosen, and it was for those, those reasons, values and morals. He, he puts other people, other causes ahead of himself, and uh, it's, it's, it's something to aspire to. Yeah. Um, well, that he didn't really set out to do anything noble, but uh, so he's kind of in transition, and so there's something kind of little more Han Solo than, uh, than Luke. And also the fact that he can pull off wearing a Black Sabbath t-shirt for the better part of the film. <laughs> um, I like the sort of uh, visceral sort of gut instinct that Thor has and there's a bit of a, uh, you know, the childlike quality in the sense that if he believes something or you know, he wants to do something, he does it and says it, you know, there's, um, you know, kids own their environment. You know, there's no, uh, you know, opinions that they really care about. And I think Thor is, you know, it's there. It's surrounded by bravado and strength and all that. But end of the day, he's pretty true to who he is and what he wants to do. And I think that was that was fun to to play with. Yeah. Um, I just like the fact that Nick Fury uh, believes that these unique individuals uh, deserve the love and admiration of the world. Who. Um, we pretty much owe everything to because there are things out there greater than us. And playing Kevin Feige, what do you think the best? <laughs> the best part he is I just get to sit here and listen and watch <laughs> you guys. The Kevin Feige is an archetype, by the way. <laughs> Question for Chris. Um, you, your relationship with Loki is really interesting. It's complicated. And um, I was just wondering if you pulled from your real life relationships or talk to me about that. Yeah, the last time my, either one of my brothers tried to take over the world, I, you know, <laughs> or the universe, I had to think back and thought, yeah, how did I feel? Um, <laughs> but, I mean, that, you know, when we did Thor was, you know, Ken Branagh kept saying, you know, let's not get caught in playing gods or what have you. Let's, it's truthful, you have brothers and how do you relate to that? And, and that became the thread through Thor and through this, which was, um, you know, it's a kind of thing of, Look, I can give my brother a hiding and tell him off, but no one else can, you know? And but don't um, you feel that Liam is trying to take over your box office universe? <laughs> and, and I did say that. I said, look, Liam, you Doesn't know. he need to be corrected in some way? I <laughs> know. Oh, there's, uh, he, he's got a few bruises currently from the <laughs> Well, you know, yeah, yeah, there's, there's a race to the box office. Um, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. This question is for Kevin and guys, if you'd like to jump in on it as well. What is it that makes Joss the perfect person to take over and helm this project? 
Well, uh, you know, my, my big fear with this, the only, really one of the only big fears I had was that the whole thing would collapse under its own weight, that, that we'd spend so much time with costumes and superpowers and special effects that these characters and these actors wouldn't get the chance to... M my biggest interest in the Avengers is the interaction between these people. And looking at Joss's body of work and the scripts that he's written in his TV shows, the characters never, ever get lost. In fact, those are the, one, those are the moments that shine. Uh, so that was, that was, to me, why he was by far the best choice to, to mount this. We're confident in our ability to handle a production of this size. We want a, we want a helmsman to come in and, and steer it in unexpected ways and to guide that tone, which is what Joss has done so well.